Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. How are you all? I hope so that you all will be fine. Today we are going to start our new chapter that is chapter number 4B. This is a poem. The title of this poem is The Moon. Students, uh, this is very beautiful poem written by Robert Louis Stevenson. In this poem, actually, the poet is going to give a tribute to the moon who is shining on all the things which are present over there. And it's a great blessing of Allah that moon gives its light on all the things like uh, streets, like thieves on the garden wall, fields, harbor, birdies, all the things just enjoy the light of the moon at night when there is no sun. Now let's start the poem and its explanation. The moon has a face like the clock in the hall. She shines on thieves on the garden wall, on streets and fields and harbor keys, and birdies asleep in the forks of trees. Students, the poet is going to tell us that the moon of the face is just like round, like the clock in the hall. He is actually talking about the moon in the middle dates of the month. When the moon is its full bloom and look like round, like a clock. She shines on thieves. Now we feel that the writer is going to describe the moon as that is something alive, that it's just like a human being. So the writer used the word she for the moon. She shines on thief on the garden wall, on streets and fields and harbor keys. The poet tells us that moon gives its light to each and everything. It gives, shines on thieves also who are on the garden wall or in the streets and that moon shines on fields and shines on that place where is a plate that is a platform to run along the edge of a port or a harbor where boats are loaded so and bird is asleep in the Folks of trees. Folks of trees mean branches of trees where birds has made their nests and they are sleeping over there. The moon also gives its light to all that birds. Now move towards the second stanza. The squealing cat and the squeaking mouse, the howling dog by the door of the house, the bat that lies in the bed at noon. All love to be out by the light of the moon. Now, the poet tells us that the moonlight has a great blessing of Allah. And it even gives its light to squalling cat. A cat who is just making a noise. And squeaking mouse. Squeaking mean a very high pitch, shrilly sound. And the mouse, uh, when they speak, in a high pitched shrilly sound and the howling dog by the door of the house howling mean uh, crying or just uh, giving a painful cry uh, the dog which are uh, just barking at the night and giving a painful cry at the door of the house at night or the bat that lies in bed at noon bat is a bird that just comes out from their houses at night and they just take rest at noon in the bed. All love to be out by the light of the moon. All these animals, that uh, squealing cat, squeaking mouse, howling dogs and bats, all love to come out in the light of the moon. So, this is a great blessing for all the animals and for all the things that they enjoy the light of the moon. But all the things that belong to the day cuddle to sleep to be out of her way 
and flowers and children close to their eyes till up in the morning the sun shall rise now students the poet is going to tell us that some things are there that belong to the day they just uh, hold uh, and goes to the comfort of the sleep uh, and uh, they are just all the things that uh, close their eyes at night and they don't enjoy the moonlight so all the flowers and all the children which belongs to the day because uh, human beings also uh, play and work at uh, daytime and, and flowers also blossom during the daytime so these things are which belong to the day they just go to sleep at night and all the night till in the morning the sun shall rise they just went to sleep and they don't enjoy the moonlight otherwise all the things which just comes out at night they just enjoy the moonlight so this is very beautiful point i think so you have understand it quite clearly now we move towards the vocabulary uh, definitely students if you wanted to learn the lyrics of this poem you have to get the meanings of difficult words the first one difficult word is cuddle cuddle mean to hold somebody or something close to comfort and warmth that's mean you hug something key a platform that runs a, along the edge of a park or harbor a platform that runs along the edge of a park of harbor where boats are loaded so key mean harbor or a platform where boats are loaded squalling squalling mean making a noisy disturbance or you can say that cry it noisily so students you have to write these words and their meanings on your notebook as a homework and i have prepared for you let's take a look of that uh, students you have to ready your sketch like this and you have to write down words and english meanings the first one is cuddle cuddle mean hug K a platform where boats are loaded squalling cry noisily so uh, you have to learn this uh, vocabulary and you have to do it as a homework on your notebook i think so this poem is quite clear to you we will meet inshallah with the next lesson take care of yourself allah hafiz